until he does. Okay, so this next um, discussion is one which um, could actually, truth is, it could probably expand to be an exercise that goes all day. Um, and um, because it's an extremely rich uh, environment, um, the, the geographic information system, and there's lots to learn with it. There's also lots of kind of finicky detail in just the environment, just like learning how to use GIS software takes a little bit of, of getting used to, you know, using the GIS features of any logic take a little bit of getting used to. Um, and uh, there are more general lessons about HMAS modeling to learn about this, but there's also, um, you know, a, uh, a very specific any logic component because based on your surveys, quite a few people are interested in, you know, how to engage in um, in effective any logic use. Um, I think you know we'll we'll want to concentrate uh, or want to include a discussion of some of these finicky components. I'm going to be um, uh, sitting for a lot of this time. I think I'm I'm starting to uh, feel the effects of too little sleep last night and and uh, too many hours on my on my uh, feet. And so I'm going to to engage in from a more of a sitting posture here. And I hope you'll forgive my lack of uh, comparative lack of mobility. Uh, so let's let's jump in. Okay. Um, I had reviewed just a few minutes ago the um, some of the oh, sorry. You know, at the beginning of this last session, many of the motivations for using geographic information system data, and they are compelling. Um, our last model that we saw was, was, you know, something that was not geographic, but it was spatial. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so here we go. So maybe what I'll do is I'm going to 